Well, it's that time, time of the year when Minnesotans are usually heading out on the ice on area lakes to ice fish. But this year, conditions on area lakes are much more dangerous than previous years. Malak Katab explains why there aren't many ice houses on lakes in Bemidji. You may have noticed how the lakes look empty. The lack of ice houses on Lake Bemidji and surrounding lakes is unique, especially for this time of year. We would had a good early base. Um, after all the snowfall that we've had this year, it has deteriorated quickly and there's not a whole lot of lake travel. Usually we see hundreds of houses on Lake Bemidji and it is a ghost town due to um, minimal ice and substantial snow and plenty of slush. The significant amount of snowfall in the past couple of weeks has made ice conditions slushy. The heavy snow has created slush pockets on the lakes. Good ice typically starts off in the beginning of the year with cold temperatures and very little snowfall. That creates harder ice and when once we start getting snowfall on top of it, it starts to insulate that ice to the point where the cold weather doesn't affect ice making as well as it could if there was fewer if there, if there was fewer snowfall on it. 12 to 15 inches of snow is considered good ice to drive on and four inches of snow is considered good to walk on. Justin Spouty says too much snow before good solid ice will sink the ice sheet. This can cause flooding, deep snow and slush. We were looking okay before we got this last week's snowfall and wind and it kind of put a damper. We were, the, the snow and slush was kind of compacting together and I think travel would have been an option, but now we're kind of back at a standstill and I don't, I don't really see it getting any better. The warm up maybe will compact everything that we have coming this week. Officials say no ice is ever 100% safe, but there are ways to stay safe while out on the ice. Tell people where you're going, uh, what lake, Tell people when you're going to be expected to arrive and when you're expected to return. Uh, carry some means of being able to signal. Um, if you lose your cell phone or you go into the water and you can't call, maybe have a whistle, have ice picks with you. Another important safety tip is to travel in groups. Some anglers have been traveling to Upper Red Lake and Lake of the Woods because ice conditions are said to be better. Reporting in Bemidji for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Malaka Tab, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.